Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. If you're new here, I do upload two versions of all my videos. One with gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But now that we have that out of the way, we are back once again in Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and we have come to Goron City, where they're having some issues with this marbled rock roast, which if you saw the last video, I probably said marbled rock roast about a thousand times. But all the young Gorons are so consumed with eating it they're not working, and they're trying to scam people so they can afford more marbled rock roast. And the old leader of the town, his back is so sore that he cannot make it to the um, headquarters of the company mining the marbled rock roast. So I guess it's my job to go there and check it out and give them a piece of my mind. So I need to go through the northern mining tunnel is what he said. And which way is north? I would guess towards them, so hopefully this leads to it up here. Oh, let me go see who this person is. Maybe they have a side quest. That's nice. Another side quest. Oh, hey, wasn't expecting to run into another alien here. Traveling around these parts isn't exactly easy. With what the Gor uh, what with the Gorons acting all weird and whatnot. I swear you can't hardly carry on a conversation with them anymore. Ugh, I can't believe I went to so much trouble to travel to Goron City and find Simmerstone Springs. Don't tell me you've never heard of Simmerstone Springs. What? Really? Uh, I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I don't really know much about the place either. I just know that there's this secret hot spring called Simmerstone Springs somewhere near Goron City. But, well... I guess that's what makes it a secret hot springs. Only those in the know know about it, you know. What I think I'm going to do is try to talk to some hot spring buffs at the not secret hot springs. See if they know where it is. I suppose Goron Hot Springs is a good place to start. Maybe I'll look it up on a map later. Let's see. Is that where that kid was that I talked to in the last episode was chilling? Ah, oh, God, this game. So many distractions. Are these hot springs? Very talkative, though. 
give it a thought, okay. Waltz is there to talk to. Do not stray from the path, both literally and figuratively. Oh, I should probably cook up some fire resistant stuff before I head that way. Is there, there's definitely a cooking pot around here somewhere. seven of them. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Okay. We'll deal with the hot spring stuff later. Let's make our way to Yokobo City. Is this the way? Okay, do not stray from the path. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up straying from the path? I wonder if anyone's going to try to scam me on my way. I got some alien workers. I wonder if they brought them in. Because of all the, because uh, all the Gorons are consumed by a marbled rock rust. Ugh, even if I want to move the cart, it won't be happening with the safety officer so preoccupied. You heard of this stuff called marbled rock roast? Ever since President Yonabo started mining it, everyone's been too busy with it to care about work. I haven't touched it, so I'm doing fine. 
I get the sense that stuff's just not great for you. What's this guy? Let me guess, something to do with marbled rock crust. Hey, you here to work with Yonoboko too? If you are, you'll want to head to Yonoboko HQ over there and they'll give you an interview. I gotta tell you though, buddy, you might want to bag the whole thing. Everything was dandy until the upheaval, but now Yonoboko, well, it's President Yonobo himself, really. He's gone and made a real mess of things with the marbled rock roast. Jesus Christ, why do they say marbled rock roast so much? Nothing off here. There's a weird haze in the minecart area, but nothing looks off other than that. Oh, and a weird haze on Death Mountain, but nothing off other than that. Yanaboko HQ is probably fine. So it looks like I can take the minecart from here to Yanaboko. Apparently you don't catalog those things. Okay. And thankfully there's the random fan. Let me guess, this guy has something to say about marbled rock crust. Pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the track if you get in this mine cart. Oh, but how do I make it move? I bet the ancient city of Gorondia is over there. Whoa, hey, who are you guy? Me, I'm not doing nothing. Well, if you're wondering, Gorondia is a legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure store down there too. They even have more advanced technology than we do now. And I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. I want to use this minecart to search for the treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone at my all my secrets, okay? Well, I'll come back for that. I'm trying to not be too distracted. This is a little bit sketchy. I wonder what's in that big cave down there. We made it. I wish there was a shrine near here. Unipo Co. 
He started as a small mining business to boost Goron City's development, but then out of nowhere he struck it rich. Uniboko has since become the world's leading name in mineral mining, with both Gorons and Hillians on its payroll. And it all began with one hard-working Goron. Talk about inspirational. I'll admit, President Unibo has been acting a little off since Marbled Rock Roast first appeared on the scene. But you can't argue with all he's accomplished. The guy made Goron City what it is today. So is he in a boat in Breath of the Wild? I can't remember. Was this 
just like the champion that you worked with from Goron. Anyway, cut it out already, Preston Unibo. We want you to take off that weird mask so you can go back to the Preston Unibo we know and love. Boys. That sure looks like Zelda. Oh no, am I gonna have to like fight him? Princess Zelda is right. Marbled rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta also change my shield. Remember, Brett? 
nest in Unipo. You told us the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly and you were worried about Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. Yeah, and when you came back from the mountain you were wearing that mask. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me the mask to wear. So, does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? Well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find her. Slurgo Offrak, I'm gonna go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. I'll ask her how to get everyone back to normal. So wait back home for me. Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Well, I guess that's what we'll be doing. Maybe on the next episode, there is a chance that I may play before I record again. So, in case we don't, in case you don't see that part, I'll, I'll make sure to recap it when I record my next video. But if you made it this far, thank you so much. Like, watching all the way through my videos really does help the channel. And I hope that means you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you're not subscribed yet, um, a subscribe would be very appreciated. And yeah, I hope you found this video entertaining and relaxing. And if you're watching it to fall asleep, I hope you aren't hearing this. And if you are hearing this and you're trying to fall asleep, there'll be other videos linked at the end of this one. If you want to watch another video, which will hopefully put you to sleep. But anyway, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you have a nice rest of your night or day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.